Hello, we're looking at circles and equations of circles for A-level mathematics, or at least A-level in the UK, and um, just dealing with one particular issue that might crop up where you're given the equation in a slightly different form to the one you might be used to. Uh, if you're not used to the equation of a circle, then have a look at a, another video I've created on the basics of an equation of a circle. So assuming that you do understand how to get the centre and the radius from the normal form of an equation of a circle, we're going to turn this one into the form you might be more used to. So as you can see, we've got an x squared and a y squared giving us the indication this is the equation of a circle. We're looking to find the center and the radius of the circle, but it's not in the form that we would expect. So we'd normally expect to have x minus the x-coordinate of the center plus y minus the y-coordinate of the center and have that equal to the radius squared. So we need to turn that into this. In order to do that, we need to complete the square a couple of times. So I'm going to collect together my x terms, and my terms with an x in them, or as a factor in them, and my y terms similarly, and then I'm going to complete the square for x squared minus uh, 6x. Now you should be familiar with the fact that if you halve the x uh, coefficient, and you put x minus 3 in that bracket, squared. If you expand this bracket, you'll get x squared, you'll get minus 6x, but you also get 9, and you can see from the equation above, we don't want there to be a 9 in there. So the 9 created by squaring negative 3, we're going to get rid of by putting minus 9. If we do the same with the y terms, so we end up with y plus 2 in brackets, all squared. If we expand this bracket, we'll get a y squared, we'll get 4y, but we'll also get a plus 4, which we don't want. And that's still all equal to 12. So now it's looking a bit closer to the form we want. We just need to add on the 9 and add on the 4. So if we do that, we'll get x minus 3 squared, all squared, plus y plus 2 all squared. And then if I add on 4, I'll get 16. If I add on the 9, I get 25. So that means that the circle is now in the right form. So if r squared equals 25, r must be 5. So what we've got now is a circle that has a center of 3 minus 2, because a is the x coordinate of the center, which is 3, and b is the y coordinate of the center. So b has to be negative 2 in order to make it minus or minus, and make it plus 2. So we've got um, our center, and then the radius is 5. There we go. Look out for that form, uh, and remember to complete the square in order to find the equation of the circle.